Audi is now on its way to its destination. We've done the first 60 kilometers. We're being super careful and just uh, use just about every charger we can find. And uh, yeah, so that's 20% covered. Let's keep going. And second charge stop. The car isn't really charging very fast. We peaked, I think, at 25 kilowatts, at 25% or 30 or something. And now we're dropping down to 10 kilowatts at 59%. Anyway, we'll make it. It's, uh, we've done 100 kilometers and it's 230 to go. Charge stop number three. Thomas is telling his wife about the removed 1.4. And we have done halfway. And again, charge power is not great. So I think it's almost time to go. really have to rush. It started at 38 kilowatts. Still 34. Good enough. So that is a uh, charge stop number four. It's about 130 kilometers to go. We are here at a hypercharger and it's my favorite chargers for Chardemo because they can deliver 200 amps. But now with our Pi PLC, they don't really cooperate. So on the other one, yeah, we saw it charging briefly, 100 amps, but then uh, after a very short delay, yep, it just stops. We drove one kilometer to another hypercharger, so the same brand, but not Aral, but Aldi. And this one works flawlessly and we get a nice 37 kilowatts. So this would be charge stop number six, I believe. And there's another one coming up and then we've made it. So this seemed like a kind of disaster because on the last uh, charger that was successfully working, the last one I was filming, um, at about 50% the charge count suddenly dropped out. And it seems like one of the charge port relays has melted. So then we, we kind of bridged it and then we tried to charge again and then the entire CCS controller went up in smoke. But luckily the car is still driving. And now the cool thing is uh, with 50% or with 25% we've already made 50 kilometers. So it's quite likely that um, we can make or well, it's possible that we can make the remaining the remaining 80 kilometers like remaining at the charger with just 50% charge of a of a pretty rundown Nissan Leaf pantry. So the efficiency of this car is really amazing. Okay, good morning. We have made it here last night just so, like I said, the quick charge electronics is uh, seized and also we figured that the AC charging is no longer working. It has uh, developed a ground fault somewhere in the electric system, maybe in the battery or up front somewhere. So, <laughs> I gotta debug that and then I can finally hand over the car. So, as you can see, I am back home again and Audi is delivered, the project is now finished. Um, as it turned out, the next day I could AC charge again. Thomas is now taking the car to work every day and charges it on his solar system. Goody. 
Speaking of which, to finish off the video, I will just show you a short clip of what I did in the week after delivering the car. Another solar system done.